Last week on USWA Championship Wrestling. Now wait a minute, here's Big Doomsday and Brian Christopher with the guitar over Doomsday. Holy cow! Billy the police are here and they're arresting Billy Joe Travis. Now who's behind this? This is ridiculous. This hey, is he's on this guy. Cause he's a Get that camera out of my face. Luther! Oh my Luther Vess! Being let out of the studio. I don't know about this. I guess we will find out shortly what's going on. My goodness. Billy, I don't want you to worry about a thing. Luther, I'm going to call. Billy Joe Travis being taken. And here in the USWA, I have a lot to report for you. First of all, the USWA ECW food, or feud rather, has reached mammoth proportions throughout the wrestling industry. You've seen it on Raw, you've heard about it here on the program, and it has just escalated into an all-out war. There'll be more of that to talk about later on in the show. For the first time ever in my 25 plus years in championship wrestling, something happened last week here on the program that, to my knowledge, has never happened in wrestling before. A wrestler was arrested live on television and led away from the studio. And we'll be talking more about that. In fact, Billy Joe Travis is going to give his side of the story of how this all transpired a little bit later on in the program. And lending into this whole situation is the fact that Brian Christopher has become a marked man. Brian Christopher has no friends, obviously, and he took credit for having Billy Joe Travis arrested. We will show you, as a result of what happened, a, a, a match that happened at a casino near Memphis, Tennessee this past week in which Billy Joe Travis and Brian Christopher were just in a, in a riot. We'll be showing you that a little bit later on. Then here in the USWA, I don't know, maybe we should change the name to the Land of the Giants. We've got Mabel in the USWA. Doomsday was introduced by Luther Biggs last week, and this week, returning to the USWA, none other than Spellbinder. So we've got a lot to talk about. Oh, by the way, finally. And uh, this is the burning question. This could be the question of the decade. Is there a relationship? Is there blood relation between Brian Christopher and Jerry the King Lawler? We will get to the bottom of that burning question today on the program, plus a big rematch main event between Mabel and Flash Flanagan. All that and a whole lot more. What have I left out? Oh, Razor Ramon hurt by Mabel in a match this week. We'll show you that and a whole lot more coming up. All the action right after this. 120 seconds away. Back to action here on the USWA right after this. Brian Christopher or Brian Lawler? Will today be the day? Stay tuned and we'll find out. Nashville, Tennessee, tonight, live USWA wrestling action returns to the Nashville Fairgrounds and Sports Arena, 8 p.m. is bell time, and there will be loads of action, including a main event. The Extreme Death Match falls count anywhere in the building. The match continues until one man cannot answer the bell when too sexy Brian Christopher takes on the sweet music man Billy Joe Travis with Luther Biggs in his corner. A special challenge match when the massive doomsday takes on the Spellbinder. Tag team action, Dirty Dutch Mantel and the movie star Mike Samples takes on Flash Flanagan and Nick Dinsmore. The Midgets will be in Nashville tonight when Chief Lone Eagle takes on Little Farmer John. Stephen Dunn goes one-on-one -on -one with P.J. Walker and the opening action tonight in Nashville will feature Paul Diamond taking on Bulldog Reigns. It all happens tonight at the Nashville Sports Arena. Also want to tell you Springfield and Lebanon wrestling fans, get ready because USWA Championship Wrestling will be heading your way in the near future. But all the eyes in Nashville are focused on tonight at the Fairgrounds and Sports Arena. The live USWA action kicking off at 8 p.m. Hello race fans, this is Randall Hall again for John Andretti's Barbecue Ribs and Grill. If you think it's hot on the track, you should see what we're cooking in the kitchen. Hickory smoked meats with sauces and spices that create a taste tuned to perfection. Take the green and hurry over to Andretti's where every meal takes you to the winner's circle. For a quick pit stop with great food and family excitement, it's Andretti's Carbecue Ribs and Grill in Music Valley next to Factory Outlet Stores and our newest location at Rivergate in the Home Depot Shopping Center. Beautiful, solid cherry, oak, 
and walnut clocks handmade by master craftsmen. Meticulous joining, over 20 hours of sanding, hand finished and driven by exquisite German movements. These are the makings of Ramcraft heirloom clocks, custom made in Gallatin, one on one for you. If your expectations are higher, visit Ramcraft, where time is a masterpiece. We're back on the USWA, ready to go with a super day of wrestling action. Your opening contest today is scheduled for one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing already in the ring area, from parts unknown, weighing 216 pounds, the Yellow Jacket. This opponent, soon to be making his way to the ring area. Wrestling out of the Bronx, New York, weighing 231 pounds, here is P.J. Walker. One fall, 10 minutes in time, down to Michael St. John. Thank you very much, Tony. P.J. Walker, who made his debut here on Championship Wrestling last week, returns to the ring, opening up our action today against the Yellow Jacket. The man from the Bronx, New York, is an admitted tagger. And in the and if he gives the little gang symbol there, we'll be taking a look at uh, P.J. Walker. This is a tough customer, a quite bold individual, was uh, bragging back in the dressing room before we went on the program today that uh, he had tagged the Brooklyn Bridge once upon a time. And we're ready, belt line action. The Yellow Jacket steps in against P.J. Walker, side headlock, and away we go. Boy, oh boy. As I said in the opening, some days you feel like a news announcer. With all the news in the USWA, the USWA ECW feud of words has just erupted into an all-out war. A Monday Night Raw has become a nice swinging. Super kick type move by P.J. Walker going right after the Yellow Jacket. But the ECW USWA feud about to come to a boil here in the world of professional wrestling. Both organizations just back and forth with words of disenchantment, I guess would be the best word to use. P.J. Walker twice off the ropes onto the Yellow Jacket. Look at this. Fans not taking a shine to P.J. Walker right away. Giving him some lift in the ring. Whipping the yellow jacket across the way into the turnbuckle. Oh, standing drop kick right against the chin of the yellow jacket. Walker catches him, and the yellow jacket goes flying as he is stung to the floor by the gangbanger P.J. Walker. Also in the USWA, last week, if you missed it, we will show you the fact that Billy Joe Travis was arrested live on television, led out of the arena, and then later in the week, he caught up with Brian Christopher, who took... Here's a big move off the top rope. One, two, and two was all he got from P.J. Walker. Brian Christopher took credit for turning in, if you would, P.J. Walker, or check that, uh, Billy Travis. And as P.J. Walker threw that right hand on the side of the face, caught the yellow jacket with the drop kick coming off. But nevertheless, Billy Joe Travis and Brian Christopher were involved in a wild melee at the Lady Luck Casino. We'll be getting to that a little bit later on. Bad blood, obviously. But then Travis and Christopher, there was a lot before the arrest incident, but now even more. Yellow Jacket taking advantage of a miss by P.J. Walker, gonna whip him into the buckle, got him into that second turnbuckle. Yellow Jacket from behind rolls him up. One, two, count of two, that's all I got. Both men going after each other. Walker into the ropes, back body drop, off the shoulder, Yellow Jacket sending the man flying across the ring. Walker up into the layoff, catches him coming off, bulldogs him down. DDT rolls him up, one, two, and three, and P.J. Walker gets another victory here in the USWA, making his mark on championship wrestling, P.J. Walker, the tagger from the Bronx. And that's it, we'll be back with more USWA action right after these messages. Our works aren't over yet. Wait till you see what happens next. 
Nashville, Tennessee. Tonight, live USWA wrestling action returns to the Nashville Fairgrounds and Sports Arena. 8 p.m. is bell time, and there will be loads of action, including a main event. The Extreme Death Match falls count anywhere in the building. The match continues until one man cannot answer the bell when too sexy Brian Christopher takes on the sweet music man Billy Joe Travis with Luther Biggs in his corner. A special challenge match when the massive doomsday takes on the Spellbinder. Tag team action. Dirty Dutch Mantel and the movie star Mike Samples takes on Flash Flanagan and Nick Dinsmore. The Midgets will be in Nashville tonight when Chief Lone Eagle takes on Little Farmer John. Stephen Dunn goes one-on-one -on -one with P.J. Walker and the opening action tonight in Nashville will feature Paul Diamond taking on Bulldog Grains. It all happens tonight at the Nashville Sports Arena. Also want to tell you Springfield and Lebanon wrestling fans get ready because USWA Championship Wrestling will be heading your way in the near future. But all the eyes in Nashville are focused on tonight at the Fairgrounds and Sports Arena. The live USWA action kicking off at 8 p.m. Attention, car wreck victims. At Hughes and Coleman, we help people injured in car wreck. Hughes and Coleman. You need money for your medical bill, your car, lost wages. We can help you get that money. Hughes and Coleman. I'm Jay Marshall Hughes. At Hughes and Coleman, our job is to help car wreck victims get the money they deserve. Car wreck victims, you need Hughes and Coleman. Call 320-1331. At DataWorks, you get the works. We live our name every computer every day. At DataWorks, we build custom computers to fit the unique and diverse needs of your business. Our friendly staff doesn't leave quality to chance, and our highly skilled and qualified technicians are dedicated to building the exact system you need, and one that will expand with your growth. DataWorks, we put the works in your computer. 610 West College Street, Murfreesboro, next to the Sylvan Learning Center. Michael St. John back with you on Championship Wrestling Special Feature Handicap Match. Let's go to Tony Friedman in the ring for specifics. All right, thanks a lot, Michael. We're ready to go with our Special Handicap Match today. One fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing, already in the ring, at a combined weight of 581 pounds, the team of Buster Johnson and Big McNasty. Their opponent soon to be making their, his way to the ring area. From the wastelands, weight unknown, led to the ring by Luther Biggs, here is the massive doomsday. One fall, 10 minute time limit. Well, I gotta give credit where credit is due. Luther Biggs has found a big monster to bring into the USWA in doomsday, taking on two men in this match. This match will be one fall with a 15 minute time limit. And Luther Biggs escorting his man to the ring. Referee is Bill Rush. I need to get this one underway. I got a, a burning question on my mind since the incidences of last week when Billy Joe Travis was led away from the television studio by police and arrested live on television. I gotta wonder, where was Doomsday when all of this was occurring? Maybe we can get Luther Biggs over here and find out. As Roberson and uh, his partner in this match, Buster Johnson, in a big handicap match, and Roberson goes to the floor, and Buster remains in the ring, and Doomsday catches him with a big clothesline, short clothesline, put him down again. Doomsday having his way. Billy Travis apparently not here on Championship Wrestling today, and I'm sure that uh, coming as a result of everything that has gone on in his life, being arrested on television last week, and then getting involved with Brian Christopher just recently in a match. We'll try to show you that action a little bit later on as to what's going on between Brian Christopher and Billy Joe Travis. I don't know if Brian Christopher has a friend in the world of professional wrestling. He's making a, quite a name for himself as a light heavyweight in the WWF. And of course, here in the USWA, he was USWA champion until recently, and he's vowed to win that back. He and Billy Joe Travis have locked horns, and needless to say, they are at war with each other. And then this big man comes in here as part of Luther Big Stable, the Big Doomsday, and you gotta wonder, with the size and power of a Doomsday on your side, and the cunning of a, of a Billy Joe Travis who will stop at nothing to win a match. I don't know where and when this whole team is going to come about. And uh, I'm sure that Doomsday will make his presence known, even though he was nowhere to be seen last week when Travis was in trouble. Buster Johnson, did he get him? I think he got him. He got one of the two. Now uh, I guess he's got to beat the other man in this handicap match. 
He's going to pick him up. Go for that power bomb, and down he goes. Doomsday working over Keith Roberson now. The referee says the match is over, though. He beat one man, and it was about to pin the other, but the match is already over. Luther Biggs in to uh, get his man, or if you would, his monster out of the ring. Uh, try to get Luther over here to talk to him. I got to give you credit. You found a monster in Doomsday, but I got to ask you a burning question. It's been on my mind all week. Where was this man when Billy Travis got arrested last week? Well, hey, listen, people. Listen, I, we're going to get to Billy Joe in a second. All right? Now, first of all, let's talk about Doomsday, okay? I brought him out here last week, and you had the audacity to ask me if he could wrestle. Well, what do you think now? He just beat two men that were well over 300 pounds. Quality wrestlers, quality opponents, and he just took them out. I will give him credit. Obviously, the man can wrestle. I wanted the question answered. That question was answered. Now answer my, now answer the my burning question and these fans' question. Where was this man last week when your champion was being led out of here by the police? Well, th that's my business. What I want to say, it's a very sensitive subject, but it's one that needs to be addressed about Mr. Billy Joe Travis, the sweet music man. Now, Billy Joe, what happened to Billy Joe here last week was a travesty, an absolute miscarriage of justice. What happened last week is he was arrested. Listen, Billy Joe right now, hey, listen, stop it. This is serious. Billy Joe right now is an emotional wreck. The guy has fallen apart. Billy Joe has not been training. He, he, he's just falling apart. He's so bad, Michael, that he won't even sing his songs. That sounds like good news to my ears. Billy Joe is a... I'm disgusted by these people, frankly. It's, it's awful. Why are you going to answer the question or not? I mean, I want to get to something else right now. The conspiracy that went on here last week. I, have, I think it's an absolute disgrace. You tell me Brian Christopher called the police. And conveniently, Billy Joe, who is a role model, his story is an inspiration, a triumph of the human spirit. He's a champion. And Billy Joe has to be humiliated, be taken out of here in handcuffs, and conveniently the police are there to film it. Well, I am absolutely disgusted. And Brian Christopher, you take notice, punk. You don't have any friends in the WWF. They really hate you in ECW. And you know, Michael, if you look around the USWA, not that many people are willing to stand up and be counted as Brian Christopher's friend. So I don't think he needs to be pulling any pranks like that, especially on the champion. And this man, Doomsday. Now, just so you people know, Billy Joe is going to recover. He's doing a lot better. He was so depressed. But I sent him down to my home in South Beach, Miami, for a little R&R. &R. And a few of the supermodels that I represent are taking good care of him. So he's going to be back here, and he's going to be fine. But Brian Christopher, you were in deep trouble. And if I were you, you better just leave town and don't come back. The words of Luther Biggs, and I don't know if we got the question answered, but I got news for you. Brian Christopher, if I'm Brian Christopher, I would be weary of these two men because goodness knows what he'll do. Let's take a break. We'll be more. We'll be back with more right after this. Well, you know you what? We're back and we're madder than hell. And the USWA is going to see why, right, Wolf? That's right. We got a few things to say, and we're going to say it, so don't you go away. And I know you're glad we're back, don't you? <laughs> Nashville, Tennessee, tonight, live USWA wrestling action returns to the Nashville Fairgrounds and Sports Arena. 8 p.m. is bell time, and there will be loads of action, including a main event. The Extreme Death Match falls count anywhere in the building. The match continues until one man cannot answer the bell when too sexy Brian Christopher takes on the sweet music man Billy Joe Travis with Luther Biggs in his corner. A special challenge match when the massive doomsday takes on the Spellbinder. Tag team action, Dirty Dutch Mantel and the movie star Mike Samples takes on Flash Flanagan and Nick Dinsmore. The Midgets will be in Nashville tonight when Chief Lone Eagle takes on Little Farmer John. Stephen Dunn goes one-on-one -on -one with P.J. Walker and the opening action tonight in Nashville will feature Paul Diamond taking on Bulldog Reigns. It all happens tonight at the Nashville Sports Arena. Also want to tell you Springfield and Lebanon wrestling fans, get ready because USWA Championship Wrestling will be heading your way in the near future. But all the eyes in Nashville are focused on tonight at the Fairgrounds and Sports Arena. The live USWA action kicking off at 8 p.m. 
A family tradition since 1951, EA Bergen & Son is your one-stop source for what you need in the game room. Pool tables, dart boards, card tables, air hockey, even ping pong tables. EA Bergen & Son is your pool table specialist in sales, service, and accessory. Why not stop in today and pick out what you need in your game room? You can be a winner with EA Bergen & Son, Tennessee's billiard experts with quality and service second to none. 507 Memorial Boulevard, Murfreesboro. I work with planes, but I'm not a pilot. I work with the space program, but I'm not an astronaut. I work in rock and roll, but I'm not a musician. All over the country, ITT Technical Institute graduates are working in some of today's most exciting career fields. To learn how ITT Tech can help you get started with a degree in electronics, call 1-800-942-0088 for an informative brochure. That's 1-800-942-0088. If you missed it last week, as we said, as far as I know, in the history of wrestling, this has never happened. The man was arrested live here on television. Let's go to that tape right now. This is what happened to Billy Joe Travis last week right here on Championship Wrestling. This is ridiculous. The police are here, and they're arresting Billy Joe Travis. Now, who's behind this? This is ridiculous. It's hey, some kind of this guy? Because he's a damn camera out of my face. Luther! Oh Luther Vance! Yes. Luther! Travis being let out of the studio. I don't know about this. But I guess we will find out shortly what's going on. My goodness. Billy, I don't want you to worry about a thing. Luther, I'm going to call. Billy Joe Travis being taken by the authorities. There's Luther Biggs trying to intervene, but apparently to no And I must say, uh, that caught us all by surprise, as I had no idea. No one had any idea what was going on. Billy Joe Travis has asked to say some words to the fans and to give his side of the story. So we're going to go to a special taped interview with Billy Joe Travis right now. Any of you people ever been to jail out there? Yeah, probably a lot of you. Brian Christopher, have you ever been to jail? Mm, no, not Brian Christopher, but Billy Joe Travis has been to jail for 12 long hours. I got handcuffed, I got humiliated, and let me tell you something, my family saw me on TV, my little girl was crying punk all because of you. I got treated like a common thief, all because of you. Everybody hates your stinking guts in the WWF, ECW, the USWA, the Spellbinder, but nobody hates you more than Billy Joe Travis. 12 long hours, 12 long hours. Let me tell you something. For every minute I spend in that jail, I'm taking a day out of your life, punk. 12 long hours. You know what? I went before the judge, and he said it's all a mistake. That's how much pool you got in Memphis, Tennessee. But let me tell you one thing. When I get my hands on you, you're going to have pull, all right. You're going to have your teeth pulled right from your mouth, punk, because I'm going to knock your brains out. And that's a promise from me to you, and I guarantee it. I don't want to talk no more. Billy Joe Travis had the opportunity. Uh-oh, wait a minute. PG, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here we go. PG-13. Why don't you just give us one of these microphones? You know, we have got a lot to talk about, man. You know, you got people crying the blues. J.C. Ice and Wolfie D for 90 long days have been sitting at home, and we've been thinking about where we're going to eat, our next meal's going to come from, who's going to pay us, but the USWA didn't care. They didn't, didn't care. care. No, you bunch of stinking rednecks didn't care what happened didn't care. Didn't care a lick. That's why we found a new home and a new love in ECW Extreme, and you think USWA's got a chance. You only had a chance when we was on your side. You you know what yeah, we're what makes you. me sick is what we did for this place. For all these years, you people used to love us. We were the greatest thing ever around here. And now look at it. You can't get a butt in the seat because we're not here anymore. Well, we're back, and we're better than ever. This ain't the nation. This is PG. Back like we used to be, baby. That's we're here to cause damage extreme. to who else. ECW style, man. You think Tommy Dreamer and Sandman's coming? We're bringing all our ECW friends, and USWA is going down at the hands of PG-13 and Extreme Championship Wrestling. Hi, Michael St. John. Wolfie D. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. 
interrupting the program. PG-13, obviously back with a vengeance here in the USWA. We were trying to give you a little background on the Billy Travis uh, incident. We want to show you a tape that happened at the Lady Luck Casino just this past week. Billy Joe Travis caught up with Brian Christopher. Pearl Hart, let's just get to the tape. It explains it all. <laughs> Travis working over Brian Christopher with a belt and there it being held you see big doomsday in there and Brian Christopher just being Pearl Harbor here oh my goodness uh, what, I, you know you, you lose it sometimes and then PG-13 comes running out of here as you're trying to build the, the, the story so you fans understand bad blood between Christopher and, and Billy Travis obviously that's going to come to a head and I'm anxious to find out who in the heck let PG-13 in here let's take a break we'll get to the bottom of this you haven't seen me in a while, and today, I'm here because I'm looking for somebody. And before this show is over, I'm going to find him. Nashville, Tennessee, tonight, live USWA wrestling action returns to the Nashville Fairgrounds and Sports Arena. 8 p.m. is bell time, and there will be loads of action, including a main event. The Extreme Death Match falls count anywhere in the building. The match continues until one man cannot answer the bell when too sexy Brian Christopher takes on the sweet music man Billy Joe Travis with Luther Biggs in his corner. A special challenge match when the massive doomsday takes on the Spellbinder. Tag team action. Dirty Dutch Mantel and the movie star Mike Samples takes on Flash Flanagan and Nick Dinsmore. The Midgets will be in Nashville tonight when Chief Lone Eagle takes on Little Farmer John. Stephen Dunn goes one-on-one -on -one with P.J. Walker and the opening action tonight in Nashville will feature Paul Diamond taking on Bulldog Grains. It all happens tonight at the Nashville Sports Arena. Also want to tell you Springfield and Lebanon wrestling fans, get ready because USWA Championship Wrestling will be heading your way in the near future. But all the eyes in Nashville are focused on tonight at the Fairgrounds and Sports Arena. The live USWA action kicking off at 8 p.m. Coming in, guys. Heading into the pits with major damage. You know, a great start goes a long way toward a strong finish. For $3.99, get a great start with Shoney's Breakfast Bar. Good and fast. Only $3.99 at Shoney's. And kids, color my car and enter to win your family a racing weekend with me. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with a few crayons. Shoney's Breakfast Bar. Only $3.99. Great job, guys. Breakfast is only at Shoney's. Yeah! School is out, but Nick Reno's still giving lessons in auto mechanics. The car broke down again? No, I took the sewer to work. Nick Reno's living life in the, uh, uh, fast lane. Sunday night at 6 on Nashville's WB58. You are 30 minutes away from WCW Wrestling, followed by American Gladiators at 3 on Nashville's WB58. We're ready to go with more action. One fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing already in the ring, wrestling out of parts unknown, weighing 245 pounds, here is Mr. Wrestling. His opponent, soon to be making his way to the ring area, weighing 282 pounds, returning to the USWA today, the Spellbinder. He is accompanied to the ring by Reggie B. Fine. Michael. Oh, this is a surprise. Reggie B. Fine. Wait a minute. I don't know if he's being accompanied to the ring by Reggie B. Fine. Reggie B. Fine seems to be introducing himself, gave him a business card. A spellbinder returns. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? Luther Biggs is out here. He and Reggie B. Fine exchanging words as they pass by. Wait a minute. Luther going to the ring and uh, talking to Spellbinder and giving him a card. Looks like there's a little recruiting going on here in the USWA today. As Luther Biggs and Reggie B. Fine are both, looks to be actively recruiting the Spellbinder. 
And Spellbinder in here for this match against Mr. Wrestling. He has uh, made his re-arrival, a re-emergence, if you would, in the USWA. And here on television today, he takes on Mr. Wrestling, who has been very successful. So this should be one whale of a match. Referee Bill Rush asking for the bell, and here we go. But before the match could even start out, Reggie B. Fine walking up to uh, Spellbinder and handing him a business card, and then right on top at the heels of that, right on top of that, here came uh, Luther Biggs, and Luther Biggs comes out and hands Spellbinder a card, and now Dutch Mantell has come out to the desk area here. What are you gonna do, Michael? I'm back out here. I said I was gonna be here, didn't I? Yeah, well, and I am here because I'm a man of my words, and a lot of things happen in the USWA, does the and USWA I just put not keep the tongue in my mouth, because I'm watching. Where did PG-13 come from? They just showed up all of a sudden, right? Hey, because, you know no why? Idea. Because I've been saying it all on the USWA treats people like dirt. Break up families and turn friends against friends. And that's exactly what they do. 90 days they stayed out, they didn't care. But I'm back and I'm telling everybody the story I told before. And I know USWA management don't like it, but I'm not going to hit you, Mike. I'm not going to hit nobody. I'm not going to do what Tommy Dreamer did out here and beat everybody up. I'm not going to do that, but I am going to tell the truth. I'm going to sit out here. And you got the spellbinder in the ring right now. The spellbinder is back. He's back with the vengeance. He's up against a good man in Mr. Wrestling. Yeah, you have got PG-13 back in the USWA, obviously. Back. They got them well, they're back in the, the USWA. Oh, did you see that? Holy this spellbinder God. is a man who don't take no for an answer. And if you don't want to go, he just takes you out. And you know, and, and who is, you know, he said he was looking for somebody. Who's I know who he looking is. For? He's looking for Brian Christopher. Well, you don't Brian know that, but I assume that. Brian Christopher is the man who put scars on this man's head and actually is one of the reasons why the spellbinder left the U.S. And Brian Christopher has no friends. You know that. He has no friends. WWF looking for him, ECW looking for him, the Puts looking for him, everybody looking for him, Travis looking for him. And after what he did last week, having Billy Travis arrested, I don't know how he can even call himself a man. Well, the past history between the Spellbinder and Brian Christopher for the fans that just need to be brought up to date is they were involved in some real vicious matches. That's the only way you can describe it. Well, that's the only way you're going to win in professional wrestling. You've got to be mean. you got to be tough. you got to take it out. you got to do it to the guy before he does it to you. And that's what Spellbinder's doing to Mr. Wrestling right now. Now, you're an icon in professional yes, wrestling. Yes, I am. I'm and glad I'm you brought it up. I am an icon. It's about time you started using the word. I, I use the word you have, have designated for yourself, but you are legendary in the world of professional wrestling. Look at that. Legendary. Yes, I am. But I've got to ask a question. And that is, you've got these big guys coming in here. You've got Spellbinder. You've got Mabel. You've got uh, Doomsday. Where's it all going in there? Big bigger and this man actively recruited as he came Well, what the that ring. means is a little bit of guys don't have a chance. They just don't have a chance. But did you miss me out here, Mike, or what? Did you really miss me? Did I miss you yeah, out you here? you need help out here. Uh, Real bad. Well, all I know is the Spellbinder just took care of Mr. Wrestling in a very uh, uh, not too sh shabby sort of way as he gets the victory here on Championship Wrestling. I'm trying to get where we're, we're going here, and I would like to get the Spellbinder over here and talk to him about... Hey, well, he's him. gone. Well, hey, hopefully we can get him back out here and get him over what here. What are you going to say to him? If he wanted like to talk to you, Michael St. John, he to come over here and talk to I you. I want to find Maybe out some guys don't want to talk. Can we get Spellbinder back no, out here? No, you can't get him back. I want to get Spellbinder back out here. I want to find out. I want to hear from him why you want he's me to go back get him. in the USWA. You want me to go get him? Hang on. I'll be right I back. would like to have Spellbinder out here. Let's, let's talk to this man. Let's find out what this is all about. Spellbinder comes back into the USWA, and, and he's right away, he's uh, uh, accosted. Well, I won't say accosted, but he's, he's welcomed back by Reggie B. Fine. He's welcomed back by Luther Biggs, and I'd like to find out what's on this man's mind. He's back in the USWA, and I'd like to find out why. I have absolutely nothing to say to you. <laughs> See, I told you you shouldn't have brought him back. If he wanted to talk to you, he'd have come over here. Uh, I don't know what you said to him back there. Let's go to this break. We'll be back. Oh, I said something to him. You know, Reggie B., everybody knows that King Mabel is the king of the ring. Flash Flanagan is the king of the wimps. I'm taking you out this week. 
Nashville, Tennessee. Tonight, live USWA wrestling action returns to the Nashville Fairgrounds and Sports Arena. 8 p.m. is bell time, and there will be loads of action, including a main event. The Extreme Death Match falls count anywhere in the building. The match continues until one man cannot answer the bell when too sexy Brian Christopher takes on the sweet music man Billy Joe Travis with Luther Biggs in his corner. A special challenge match when the massive doomsday takes on the Spellbinder. Tag team action, Dirty Dutch Mantel and the movie star Mike Samples takes on Flash Flanagan and Nick Dinsmore. The Midgets will be in Nashville tonight when Chief Lone Eagle takes on Little Farmer John. Stephen Dunn goes one-on-one -on -one with P.J. Walker and the opening action tonight in Nashville will feature Paul Diamond taking on Bulldog Reigns. It all happens tonight at the Nashville Sports Arena. Also want to tell you Springfield and Lebanon wrestling fans, get ready because USWA Championship Wrestling will be heading your way in the near future. But all the eyes in Nashville are focused on tonight at the Fairgrounds and Sports Arena. The live USWA action kicking off at 8 p.m. Paul Eels with American Home Design. You could be enjoying one of these beautiful sunrooms on your existing deck, porch, or patio in just two to three days at half the cost of conventional construction. They're great for family get-togethers, an exercise room, a place to relax in the outdoors all year without the weather hassles. Listen. Well, we just basically use it for, uh, for extra room off to the side here, and it really expands the house, opens up the house, and uh, it's just kind of a kind of a quiet room to have off to the side for a little bit extra living room. Remember, with your in-home survey, we'll come out and examine the area where you would like your American Home Design sunroom built. We're home-based here in Nashville in business over 20 years with more than 20,000 satisfied customers. It's easier and more affordable than ever to enjoy an American Home Design sunroom. Homeowners, call now and you're automatically registered for our sweepstakes. Win your own American Home Design sunroom and there's no obligation. So call now and win. Burning questions permeating the world of professional wrestling in here in the USWA. Let's see if we can get Brian Christopher out here. I know we want to talk to him about this situation that he and Billy Joe Travis have going on. This seems to be a, a, a road that's uh, going into nowhere. And plus, of course, there's a question regarding uh, BC and uh, Jerry the King Lawler. But let's talk about the situation with Billy Joe Travis and what happened at uh, the Lady Luck Casino, Brian. What's going on, Michael? <laughs> I, I think you know. I know what's going on. A lot of people have been asking me what's going on. What's going on in my life? What's been going on with my attitude? You know, they've seen me on the WWF, said I have a change of attitude. Well, I'll tell you what, I've had the same attitude all along. It's just the people that I don't get along with has changed. Now, I got a lot of people that I don't get along with here lately, right? Uh, see, you seem to be a marked man. One of them is Scott Putsky, okay? One of them is Luther Biggs. Another one is Doomsday. Then I got everybody from the ECW. But number one on the list, number one on my hit list, is Billy Joe Travis. Now you asked me what happened here last week where the Shelby County Police Department came and arrested Billy Joe Travis. Well, believe me, if there's anybody that doesn't believe that that was all real, it was all real, just like it was all real when he stepped out there and he threw a garbage can on the hood of my blazer, my 1993 blazer. I've had it for a couple of years now. I just had a new paint job last year, and what does he do? He damages my hood. That's called vandalism. That's right, that's called vandalism, and I called the police department because they said I needed to report that. So I reported it, okay? Don't blame me, Billy Joe Travis. I reported what you did, and what they tell me, they said they've been looking for him. He has a warrant out for his arrest. I said, well, I'll tell you what. You watch TV next week, he'll be right down here at the TV station. Come and pick him up if you want to. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here, come, here comes Luther Biggs. Here we go. Hold on a second, Brian. Lies, 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 Brian. You are a liar. Why don't you just stand up, be a man, and admit that you are jealous of Billy Joe because he is the champion, because he's a music star, because these people out here look up to him. Why don't you just admit it, Brian, instead of lying about it? You were angry, so you called the police. You set Billy Joe up to make him look bad. You had these bozos back there with cameras to film him get arrested. 
And I'm sick and tired of your lies, Brian. Just admit the truth. You're jealous of Billy Joe. Admit it for once. You want to hear the truth? You want to hear the truth? Let's talk about his daughter that he hadn't paid no child support on in months. What about the alimony payments they were telling me about that he hadn't been making, huh? How about that? How about his daughter? What about the rehab he's gone through? Why don't we tell the people about that? Huh? Don't blame me for how he screwed up his life. But believe me, I'm going to screw it up as much as I can. Hey. And I'm going to screw up your life even more than that if you keep messing oh. with me, Luther Biggs. Oh, okay. So now it's changed from Billy Joe to me. Now you're going to mess with me. You're a big tough it guy. It don't matter. A big superstar, huh? Going to take on anybody, beat up anybody. Well, I'll tell you what. I got a guy out here. I know you got a match coming up, Brian. Probably against just some jabroni, some loser, like you always wrestle. I got a guy out here that's willing to take you on right now, and his name is Doomsday. Why don't you come on out here? Now, you're mad enough to step in the ring with that, Brian? You're going to shut your mouth, quit lying long enough to get in the ring and wrestle him? I'll tell you what, Luther Biggs. I'll step in the ring. You bring your man in the ring. There's nothing but air between us. I don't care. Whoever, whenever, let's get it on right now, brother. I think you got your answer. He just asked for a fight, and he's going to get a fight. All right, here we go. This was not scheduled. It's Doomsday and Brian Christopher and referee Bill Rush in the ring because the match had already been scheduled with Brian Christopher involved, and now he's up against Luther Biggs' his big giant doomsday and brian christopher making good steed for himself a couple of drop kicks has doomsday reeling caught him with the big clothesline and he's out of the ring brian christopher hitting the ring with a vengeance i tell you when you light the fire in this man's gut you're asking for trouble and luther biggs just threw lighter fluid all over it with big doomsday in the ring Biggs pacing around ringside. Brian Christopher up against Doomsday. This unscheduled match right here on Championship Wrestling. Christopher being waylaid by two big chops of that arm. And Doomsday with that big size 14 right into the midsection. Brian Christopher caught in the corner. Across he goes. Leapfrogged out of it. Christopher kicking at the knees of Doomsday. Obviously, Brian Christopher has scouted this man and knows some weaknesses. He threw him into the turnbuckle, but not to much avail. Brings him out, snap mare. That took every ounce of energy in Christopher. Brian climbing to the second strand of rope. Gonna come off, double axe handle across the top of the head. And Brian Christopher may have been more injured out of that maneuver than Doomsday, and Doomsday comes right back. Slams that big hammock into him. Across the way, Christopher, he caught him that time. Brian Christopher caught power slam. And Doomsday putting too sexy Brian Christopher on the canvas. And now Luther Biggs beginning to jaw with the uh, crowd here at ringside here on Championship Wrestling because his man has things going his way. Christopher sitting to the ropes, caught with the clothesline coming off. Drops the leg, Christopher out of the way. And too sexy Brian Christopher trying to catch his win. Comes right back on Doomsday with a couple of quick three, four kicks to the midsection. Off the ropes. Caught that kind of dang, a swinging kick. A swinging super kick by Brian Christopher that staggers the big man. This Doomsday has to stand about 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, Towers over Brian Christopher, but when it comes to fight, in the belly, Brian Christopher has 100%. There's a super kick that he's noted for. And Doomsday goes down in a heap. Brian climbing. Yeah, look at this. It's Billy Joe Travis. He's got power. It sends power into the eye of Brian Christopher. Billy Joe Travis, I'd been told, was not here today. He was arrested last week here on television, and he is back now going right after Brian Christopher. The man who readily admits when he burned in a police report for the vandalism on his truck. Billy Joe Travis was a wanted man, and they came and got him. And now both he and Doomsday are laying it into Brian Christopher and more trouble on the scene. 
Spellbinder is out. Brian Christopher inviting Spellbinder out, and Spellbinder is in the ring. They're setting up Brian Christopher. Spellbinder wanting him to kiss his shoe, kiss his boot. He's taking that boot off. Oh! oh! Holy cow, Spellbinder is going wild on Doomsday and Billy Joe Travis. What a turn of events. Luther Biggs is in shock. Billy Travis is in shock. Doomsday is in shock, and I am in shock as Spellbinder. What an unholy alliance Spellbinder has come to the aid of Brian Christopher. I gotta, I gotta find out what this is all about. This is, this is highly uncalled for, or highly unlikely. Come here, I'm, I'm sorry, I've, I've gotta find out what has brought this about. Hold on a second, let me get up there. I normally don't get into the ring, and I, I gotta tell you, I am shocked by the turn of events here. What is going on? You wanna know what's going on? Come here, Bruce. Come here, Chris. Brian Christopher being called out here by Spellbinder. Brian, I, I, you've got to be in shock. I cannot believe what I just saw. Listen, you haven't seen me in a while, and I've been getting my head together now. I'm going to be totally honest. I don't like this man. I don't like him. We were friends at one time, but look what he did to me. That's something I'm never going to forget, Chris. But I'll tell you what, one thing I do have for you is definite, definite respect. You fought me hard, just as hard as I fought you. And I'll be dang if I'm, if I'm gonna see an idiot like Luther Biggs come in here and bring two bigger idiots to pounce on you just like that. Wow. Okay. So, so I'm gonna leave it like this, Chris. I'm gonna leave it like this. Again, I'm gonna be honest. I hate you. Every time I wake up in the morning, I gotta look at this car. But if you need any help against these two idiots, here's my hand shaking. You got it. Look at this, fans. Brian, he's offering you his hand. You saw what just, well, you were there. You saw what happened in the ring. Look at this, Spellbinder and Brian Christopher. I never thought I would see the day that that would happen, that just, uh, just what happened here on TV. I, I'm at a loss for words, which doesn't happen very often. Spellbinder coming to the aid of Brian Christopher. Go ahead, give him a hand, gee whiz. What a sudden turn of events. Oh, my goodness. Let's take a break. We'll be back. Stay with us, fans. More USWA action coming up. Mabel taking on Flash Flight again. Don't leave us now. Nashville, Tennessee, tonight, live USWA wrestling action returns to the Nashville Fairgrounds and Sports Arena. 8 p.m. is bell time, and there will be loads of action, including a main event. The Extreme Death Match falls count anywhere in the building. The match continues until one man cannot answer the bell when too sexy Brian Christopher takes on the sweet music man Billy Joe Travis with Luther Biggs in his corner. A special challenge match when the massive doomsday takes on the Spellbinder. Tag team action, Dirty Dutch Mantel and the movie star Mike Samples takes on Flash Flynn and Nick Dinsmore. The Midgets will be in Nashville tonight when Chief Lone Eagle takes on Little Farmer John. Stephen Dunn goes one-on-one -on -one with P.J. Walker and the opening action tonight in Nashville will feature Paul Diamond taking on Bulldog Reigns. It all happens tonight at the Nashville Sports Arena. Also want to tell you Springfield and Lebanon wrestling fans, get ready because USWA Championship Wrestling will be heading your way in the near future. But all the eyes in Nashville are focused on tonight at the Fairgrounds and Sports Arena. The live USWA action kicking off at 8 p.m. Heading into the pits with major damage. You know, a great start goes a long way toward a strong finish. For three ninety nine, get a great start with Shoney's Breakfast Bar. Good and fast. Only three ninety nine at Shoney's. And kids, color my car and enter to win your family a racing weekend with me. It's amazing what you can do with a few crayons. Shoney's Breakfast Bar. Only three ninety nine. Great job, guys. The breakfast is on me at Shoney's. Yeah! We want to make sure you get what you deserve when it comes to Social Security and disability benefits. I'm Jay Marshall Hughes with the law firm of Hughes & Coleman. If you've applied for Social Security benefits because of a disability and you've been denied, we can help. A reconsideration must be filed within 60 days after you've been denied. 
So it's important that we act now. If you've been denied your disability benefits from Social Security, you need Hughes and Coleman. Call 320-1987. Still to come, our big main event with Mabel in uh, Flash Flanagan. My voice has just had it after what has occurred here. And let's go to the ring and Tony Friedman. Thanks, Michael. We're ready to go with our feature attraction of the day scheduled for one fall or to the expiration of our time. We're ready to go with the action. Introducing first, soon to be making his way to the ring area. 568 pounds, here is King Mabel. His opponent, soon to be making his way to the ring area, wrestling out of Indianapolis, Indiana, weighing 229 pounds, Flash Flanagan. One fall or to the expiration of our time. Not a lot of time remaining. We're going to try to get Jerry the King Lawler out here and uh, ask him the burning question in the USWA. Uh, if he and Brian Christopher are related, we're going to try to get that on right now. Flash Flanagan in a return match. You saw what happened last week with Flanagan and Mabel. Mabel sitting down on the job and Flanagan going right to work on him. Two. He almost got him. Count of two was all he got. Flanagan going right after Mabel. I tell you, didn't even give time for the bell to ring. Flash trying to get the first blow in on this big man and the 500 pound plus Mabel. King Mabel, if you would. Now taking the fight right to Flash Flanagan. Now well, fans, we're running short on time. We want to try to get an answer to the question. We've been, uh, it's been a burning question on everybody's mind throughout professional wrestling. And I was told that we would get an answer today from Jerry the King Lawler. So we're expecting the King out here momentarily. Here's Flanagan sent to the turnbuckle. Big Mabel just sitting, if you would, from pillar to post, Flash Flanagan being manhandled by the big man. Mabel picks him up over his head. A big press on Flash Flanagan, just dead weight, and now just slams him into the ring. That's what's gonna happen to each and every one of his opponents. You watch what I tell you. The new king of the ring. King Mabel at the words of Reggie B. Vine. King Mabel is going to work on Flash Flanagan here in this match. Picks him up to slam him again. Gonna press him one more time. Boy, this has got to take a ton out. Oh, look at this. Flanagan, a little backslide now. Going to work on Mabel. Standing drop kick. Staggers the big man. Flanagan off the rope. Oh, oh what a move. Did you see that move, man? Did you see that? Couldn't miss that one. 500 pounds in the air of King Mabel across the jaw of Flash Flanagan. We are running out of time. We've only got about 30 seconds or so remaining. And Flash Flanagan sent into the turnbuckles by Mabel. We're still waiting for the King, Jerry Lawler, to come out here and hopefully be able to talk to him and get an answer to the question that's been on everybody's mind. He said he would be out. Look out, here comes PG-13, and they're going after Flash Flanagan. PG-13 after Flash Flanagan. Where are they coming from? These guys are back in the USWA with a vengeance, and he nailed him with that hubcap. This match is over. Mabel's out of the ring. Flash Flanagan being beaten to a pulp in the ring by PG-13. As Big Mabel had things going his way, and then out That's of right. nowhere came Get these two guys. Get him, Wolfie! Get him! Destroy him! Nashville, Tennessee, tonight, live USWA wrestling action returns to the Nashville Fairgrounds and Sports Arena. 8 p.m. is bell time, and there will be loads of action, including a main event. The Extreme Death Match falls count anywhere in the building. The match continues until one man cannot answer the bell when too sexy Brian Christopher takes on the sweet music man Billy Joe Travis with Luther Biggs in his corner. A special challenge match when the massive doomsday takes on the Spellbinder. Tag team action, Dirty Dutch Mantel and the movie star Mike Samples takes on Flash Flanagan and Nick Dinsmore. The Midgets will be in Nashville tonight when Chief Lone Eagle takes on Little Farmer John. Stephen Dunn goes one-on-one -on -one with P.J. Walker and the opening action tonight in Nashville will feature Paul Diamond taking on Bulldog Reigns. It all happens tonight at the Nashville Sports Arena. Also want to tell you Springfield and Lebanon wrestling fans, get ready because USWA Championship Wrestling will be heading your way in the near future. But all the eyes in Nashville are focused on tonight at the Fairgrounds and Sports Arena. The live USWA action kicking off at 8 p.m. 
Hi, I'm Buddy Good, sales manager with Advantage Dodge here in Murfreesboro. We are Middle Tennessee's number one volume Dodge dealer and a five-star dealership for three consecutive years. We worry about people after the sale. Our service department is three years running five-star, which means great service, great people, easy to work with. Of course, 3.9 on the sales side doesn't hurt either. So if you got the best price, best payment, best service, you're talking Advantage Dodge right here in the borough, Murfreesboro. Hello, race fans. This is Randall Hall again for John Andretti's Carbecue Ribs and Grill. If you think it's hot on the track, you should see what we're cooking in the kitchen. Hickory smoked meats with sauces and spices that create a taste tuned to perfection. Take the green and hurry over to Andretti's, where every meal takes you to the winner's circle. For a quick pit stop with great food and family excitement, it's Andretti's Carbecue Ribs and Grill in Music Valley next to Factory Outlet Stores and our newest location at Rivergate in the Home Depot Shopping Center. They want to know, what is the relationship between you and Brian Please, Christ please, Michael. I'm so sick of hearing this. It's like this is such a big deal. It's not that big a deal. This is a wrestling program. People really want to see wrestling. They don't want to know who I'm related to or who I'm not related to. So what we're going to do right now, they do want to know. It's a burning question, Gary. Gary, it's all. Okay, I'll tell you what. There's not much time left. Let's let them see one more wrestling match, and I'll tell you what. If you want me to make a big production out of it, everybody's trying to make it a big deal, like a big circus, I'll do that. Next week, I'll make a big production. I'll make a big circus out of the announcement, okay? All right, there you have Jerry the King Lawler says he's going to announce it next week. All right, J.C. Ikes wants to wrestle so bad. we got a standby match. Let's go to Tony and find out. Thanks, Michael. We're ready to go with action. One fall. Introducing already in the ring from Memphis, Tennessee. I am a wrestler and I'm here to wrestle. And I'm going to show everybody why PG-13 and ECW is going to take over. 217 pounds from Memphis, Tennessee, Tony Williams. There we go. J.C. Ice wanting things his way. All right. They've been so anxious. They keep running out here on the television program, interrupting and and jumping into matches and sticking their nose where they're not supposed to be. Here we go with J.C. Ice and Tony Williams in the match. And right away, Tony Williams going right to J.C. Ice. They're so anxious to wrestle. Wolfie D out here also with PG-13. Oh, this match to the expiration of time as we were... Uh, this PG-13 were involved in a, well, they weren't involved in a match. They came running into the match earlier, and they wanted to stick their nose into this program today and saying now that they represent ECW, I wonder if ECW knows they represent ECW. But they're in the ring right now. At least J.C. Ice is against Tony Williams. And right now, Tony Williams with an arm bar. Woofy D on the sideline here on the floor of the, of the ring and he's uh, at, moment, at the moment yelling encouragement to J.C. Ice and let's hope it just stays that way as young Tony Williams with things going his way on J.C. Ice. We don't have a whole lot of time remaining on our program today but we will stay with this match until a conclusion or at least as long as we possibly can as these two men lock it up here today. Jerry the King Lawler making a promise. He said, you want a big production? I'll do you a big Hollywood production. We'll make the announcement next week. The burning question on everybody's mind is Brian Christopher, is he Jerry the King Lawler's son? You heard about it on Monday Night Raw. You, you, you've heard about it uh, on talk shows. And it's uh, made the internet. It has made newspapers worldwide, and we're hopefully going to get an answer real, real soon. And right now, J.C. Ice catching young Tony Williams coming into the corner with the boot. Williams set to the rope. Elbow smash down goes Tony Williams. And J.C. Ice being warned by the referee whips him again. Oh, Williams caught him that time with a boot. J.C. down he goes as a victim of the drop kick by Tony Williams. And Tony Williams has cleared the ring of J.C. Ice. Ice now coming back in. Wolfie D from underneath. Oh, tripped him up from underneath. One, two, three. That's it. J.C. Ice with the help of Wolfie D. We got to get out of here. We hope you've enjoyed the action here on Championship Wrestling. We'll have more USWA action next week. That's why right we're here. Until then. So long, everybody. PG-13, man. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of USWA Championship Wrestling.
When is a truck more than just a truck? After you've visited Cowboys Truck Caps and Accessories in Mount Julia. Cowboys has everything you proud pickup owners need to make your trucks exactly what you want them to be. If it's something as simple as a camper top or bed liner, or whether you want to go all the way to a customized eye-popping show truck, you'll find it all at Cowboys. Toolboxes, grill guards, tonneau covers, and we have the hottest new item on the market, Alumalite lighted bed rails. These beauties come in polished aluminum or black, and you can even paint them. Check out our large selection of wheels, fiberglass or aluminum camper tops, hood protectors, bed caps and bed liners, and mats. Plus, we'll special order items, too. You can have the pickup you've always dreamed of. Just ask a Cowboys expert to help. We'd be proud to do it. So if you want your pickup to be more than just a truck, stop by Cowboys, 5003 Marketplace, just a half block off Lebanon Road in Mount Juliet. <laughs> 